What's up y'all, it's the Chestnick. I know it's been a while since I posted a long video. I've just been grinding out them shorts, but today actually I want to go over this um, Andrew Tate game. I haven't looked at it yet, but he played Pierce Morgan and uh, say what you want about Andrew Tate. I don't really have like a strong opinion on him either way. I agree with some things he says. I don't agree with some things he says, but uh, I really can't stand Pierce Morgan. So I'm just going to put that out there. It's not like, you know, I want him to lose this game of chess because of that, but I was just curious to see how this game went. So, a book move from Andrew Tate. Uh, not E4. D4 is a little bit, you know, a little bit less common, but still a book move. People that watch this channel know that. Now, this is the, yeah, the Queen's Gambit. Interesting. I almost feel like he, he was thinking, like, I'm definitely going to play this. I don't know. Andrew's pretty good at chess, too, I believe. I mean, according to this, he did play with 94% accuracy. Pierce had 67, so... I mean, we'll see how the game goes, because... I mean, I've even had games that are, like, 98%, I believe. Even maybe higher? I don't know. I've had some really good games, but it all depends on how the game goes. Okay, let's see. Yeah, this all seems pretty pretty normal. I'm no genius. If you haven't seen the channel before, just play chess. Keep it pretty simple. Andrew seems to not... Yeah, he seemed to ignore that pressure. Figured it was defended. That is a strange move. That really doesn't accomplish anything. I don't even really know, like what Pierce was thinking with this one because I mean there's nowhere to attack I mean there's nothing else coming to defend this queen the bishops defended so it's just like really a whole lot of nothing yeah Andrew takes the pawn keeps it simple Perfect stuff. I mean, attacking the queen that was kind of there for no reason, right? So this is saying... Yeah, allows them to develop. But what what is the better move? Okay, that was a whole lot of moves. I don't even want to look at that. So that's... That didn't really get the queen to safety, though. Let me see. Okay, so he gets the queen back. Doesn't... I don't know. That might be above my head. He goes after the queen, which is like, you know, there for no reason. That seems to be a big theme of this. Now he blundered his queen. <laughs> Not the time to castle, but... uh, See, I, even if he didn't win his queen right there, his queen was just there for no reason, just causing problems. Not even attacking. So now he has not a checkmate. He has some ideas, nothing. He pushes him back. See, Pierce seems like he has some understanding of the game. <clears throat> now, I think, I don't know Andrew's a rating, but I know his dad was, uh, was, like, I don't, I think he was a grandmaster. Um, Emery Tate? I could be getting it wrong, but his dad was well-respected in the chess community, so you kind of assume Andrew would know a little bit, but also he just said he's into chess. Uh, I've even seen him like at events just uh, playing chess on his phone or uh, at least doing the puzzles. Yeah, so he takes there. I guess that's the best move. Yeah, because even if if he doesn't, and then he lets his uh, knight go, that's going to probably end up getting opened up, but probably does anyway. Now, I, I might have taken with the pawn there. Not that that's a better move. I just maybe wouldn't have thought of it. Yeah, if he takes with the pawn, he just attacks the knight, he just runs off. He doesn't really do anything. Maybe that's why. Oh, no, that was defended anyway. 
Yeah, I'm not sure why that was better to take with the knight. Maybe just the pawn structure. That could that could very well be it. That's a good castle. That's how you do it, Pierce. Okay. See, now, I would maybe think of taking that with a knight. Aha! Okay. I wasn't looking over there, I, I swear. Yeah, that works, because he takes, you know, you threaten him with the queen, it gets ugly. I'm surprised that's the best move, because... Oh, I guess that's still defended. I was thinking... He takes. That's strange he didn't take. He must have knew it was a trap, or he knew that this bishop was a little bit of a danger. I guess that can he can go there with the bishop now. Now he takes. Yeah, perfect. And uh, that picks up the knight, too. Hmm. I probably would have taken the knight, personally. I would have probably taken the knight. He has to move only there. I guess it's stupid to trade down when you don't have to, but, you know, what is he going to do at this point? He'd have to take there, you take there. It's a good trade, but let's see if, let's see what, what goes down. So that... Now here, goes there. He's definitely, you know, not making any mistakes. Now this is the type of game, I'm surprised he has such high accuracy because there's a lot of, like a lot of these he has more than one good move or if it's not the best move, it's Something you could play and, you know, definitely get away with it, for sure. That's, that's pretty good defense. I actually don't know what I'd do to that. Let's see what Andrew thinks. Yeah, I guess this is good, because if he... If he... Oh, he can't take. Pinned. Yeah, that's a good move. Andrew, I wonder, he probably did see the pin, but if he didn't see the pin, maybe he was just thinking about my idea earlier. He probably saw it. That's a little, that's a little odd. I kind of think he should have taken with the, uh, with the bishop, though. He takes with the bishop, then his rook is safe. Yeah. I'm, I'm analyzing the game as much as I can. I'm, I'm not good, as you can see, but I'm acting like it's some important game. It's just people talking. Some raunchy guy and a guy who likes to argue on a talk show. That's a good move. wonder if I... You know, I think Andrew probably shouldn't have even pushed that. I'm surprised it says excellent. Because now he just loses that. I mean, given, even if, if he takes with the bishop, he has nothing. I for, kind of forgot the bishop was his last piece. Because at first I was thinking a bishop for a rook. You know? <clears throat> he does it. Now he he was he could have forfeited earlier really he didn't have a chance for a long time. Let's see when the bar eval bar. Yeah, I, oh, or is that time on the left? Anyways, yeah, Andrew had a pretty crushing uh pretty crushing game. You know what too though, seeing this Pierce. Probably didn't even think to, to forfeit. I would have forfeited much earlier. But um, also for TV, a checkmate's kind of more interesting. If somebody doesn't watch chess at all, they want to see a checkmate. Okay, well, Andrew Tate is good at chess. Probably better than me. A lot of those moves that I was questioning, maybe 
he had something figured out that I didn't have figured out. But this is just my game review. Uh, tell me what you think. If it's trash, tell me it's trash. Like, comment, subscribe.